Welcome, welcome, Bonnie. I'm so excited that we get to have this conversation together. And thank you so much for joining me for this, to be able to share your, your journey and your wisdom tips um, for everybody with your experience of the Akashic Records training. First thing, would you like to tell everybody who you are and uh, what you do? Introduce yourself. <laughs> a bit like blind date isn't it that's true <laughs> what's your name where do you come from <laughs> um yeah so I'm Bonnie Marshall and um I usually live in London but currently in Birmingham and I'm an intuitive healer so I've used I've actually used energy work and healing in previous careers and I've now embraced it as my full-time business yeah. that's where I'm at thank you yeah. and I'll tell you what since I embraced it properly as my business it's been a lot easier. The resistance that we create when we resist our path is just so interesting, isn't it? Yeah. It's huge. And it's that bit of everything feels difficult because we're resisting the very thing that we're meant to be stepping into because of whatever our head's telling us. It's going to be too hard. Where's the money going to come from? You know, all the, all the stories. Absolutely. I mean, I had a business mentor and he's brilliant at what he does. And I, and at the time, I didn't know what the business was going to be. And I would consult my angel cards and be like, okay, show me. Show me what the business is going to be. And each time it would be practice your psychic abilities, you know, learn your gifts. And I would literally say to them, no, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not talking about that. We're talking about business. And it took me 10 years to really understand that that was the business. And then, and then it started to work. It's just so interesting. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I love your, your insights and your awareness. So you've had your business for, a, you know, um, and been working in this field for a long, a long time in terms of in, intuitive work. What was it that inspired you to join the Akashic Records Intensive? Good Lord. I think I did that. I did that. Um, <laughs> I did that manifesting week with um, with you, Louisa. And when we went into the Akashics, it was very different. So I had been before and it was very beautiful, vintage, we'll call it a vintage looking library, um, immense library. When I went in that time with you, it was this ornate, very sort of I can't explain it, maybe maybe Russian style building full of marble, light, beautiful decor, crystals. And I just thought, oh my God, this is an upgrade. And then going in, there was such a visceral experience. And I thought, oh, I want to be able to help clients with this because the clarity, I think the clarity was, you know, as a Theta Healing Practitioner, there's clarity. There's a difference in the frequency, isn't there? when you go into the records there's a different frequency it's different from higher self from the creator and then the keepers there's 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 a difference between all three and I just loved there's a lot of grace in there I think mm. um and I just wanted to be able to gift that to the clients as well yeah yeah you know a lot of people do tell me that who are really experienced with other healing modalities that they recognize the the shift in consciousness that they um, step into when they're working in the in the Akashic records and I it's like changing dials and I'm trying to explain it to people who are perhaps earlier on in their journey are beginning to explore personal development and energy work and are saying well, what is the Akashic records <laughs> <laughs> um, and being able to help them you know translate it into things that we know and uh, from a you know the world that we live in is it's like changing a dial on your on your tv you're going into a different onto a different channel you're going yeah. to step into a different consciousness like you say a different frequency and then because of that you're able to access something completely completely different and you get that that clarity what what would you say then um talking about you know the experiences that you've had what's what have your results been from working in the res the records well I've had a lot of I've had a lot of insights as you as you as you know I've had massive massive insights working with the records I think clarity you know my intention has always been to be crystal clear mm. vessel channel and the clarity that comes through is phenomenal and I think that's probably because 
I've got the other modalities behind me now. I, I do trust the records a little bit more than when I first started out as, a, as an intuitive healer. Mm. I think the results that I've got, I, I, I think the biggest result I've had since, since doing the records is that they've gifted me with, so when I, when I did my theta healing, my teacher said to me, oh, you're, I see you teaching. Now I just presumed I'd be teaching theta. Going into the records I've seen, but I'm, they've gifted me with a new modality that I will be teaching. So that's incredible. And I'm very honored that they've given me the opportunity for this. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've for years have had um, cysts on my, this is very personal, cysts on my left breast. And I've actually used it and they've gone. And so I was reading through my notes thinking, you know, what could I share today? And I, and I read that <laughs> and I touched my boob. <laughs> And I was like, oh, yeah, they are gone. I forgot. So it's, it, that's probably the most profound breakthrough I've had is actually being gifted the new modality and knowing that it works and, yeah. and using that. So, and there's still a lot to, that, that, that needs to be not necessarily discovered but practised so that I can document it and put it through and so that we can mm-hmm. take this forward. But that's probably the biggest the biggest breakthrough I, I had. This is so exciting, Ronnie, because I know whenever I followed the guidance in the Akashic Records around um, next steps within my business, my business has just grown and so easily as well, because it's actually it links back to what you're saying when you're resisting your path. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so true. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it this way. No, they're going, actually, just do it this way. We trust, have faith. It's going to be easy. <laughs> yeah. When we do allow ourselves to go, oh, I'm going to, okay, this is the guidance. I'm going to step in. I'm going to do this. It is like the, it's like you've got a clear highway that you can motor on as quickly as you will allow yourself to. Yeah. But you definitely have that, that ease. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Just um, absolutely magical. What would you tell someone then like a coach or a healer who is wanting to, you know, make a greater impact and to be able to, um, is considering, you know, tapping into the Akashic Records what advice would you have for them if they're at that stage? Do you know, I, th- I, I think what I love about the records is, is it's such a, it's such an easy, easy tool to use, isn't it? And I think the thing that I love the most is so the simplest thing to remember is to always go back to heart space and just breathe and breathe in love and grace. And I think and I love the heart chakra because for me it's like the bridge between the spiritual chakras and then our earthly body and I think if Mm -hmm. they're able to just go into heart space it really does connect the two it almost combines both our physical and our spiritual and if they can go into their heart space and just breathe and not try and think the logical and not try and think is this gonna, you know, is this spiritually what I need or is this physically what I need? Just go into heart and just tune in and they'll know. It's a really bizarre thing, isn't it? Because I think it's quite frustrating when people must hear us say, you know, just just breathe and tune in and you'll know. (laughs) It must be incredibly frustrating when you're seeking the answer. But I I think that is it. It's like literally just go into your heart space and it will guide you Mm. it will guide you because it's such a wonderful it's such a wonderful tool it really is isn't it and I think that's one of the the lots of feedback that I've had from the soul journeys method that you know I teach on the intensives is the the framework and the system that really helps guide people through some of those fears that can bubble up around by just how am I going to be the only one that can't access the Akashic records? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people can think everyone else in here is going to be able to do it except for me, you know, <laughs> but actually being able to, like you're saying, is any resistance that's coming up or any fears, it's just to breathe through it and to allow yourself to, to open up. And we've got the processes in place to help people. You're training your brain to be able to be that clear channel. Yeah. And opening up the energy centers so that you can that you can do that I think yeah and that's that's just so beautiful isn't it Louisa that we're training our brain to let go of concepts that we've been taught all our lives and that actually we're more feeling than 
than thinking really mm. you know like we're intu we are intuitive beings we're energy aren't we so if we're energy it's not necessarily always translated in a logical mental way we have a mental body but it's one of the four bodies isn't it it's not that everything comes through in a logical way and so to use that feeling mm. and, and 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 really go with it you know the gut instinct we call it instinct we call it you know yeah gut instinct or uh i don't know what other people call it like i don't know it, it, it's just we like to call it different things but but it's intuition it's intuition it's wisdom it's a it's a wisdom that goes beyond words yeah I, th that you've just touched on something actually a lot of people will say what's the difference between the intuition and working in the akashic records intuition um i would say is that gut instinct that what your heart energy is picking up when you're working in the records the difference is is you'll be given insights that you couldn't possibly know intuitively <laughs> if yeah that makes sense and of course some of it may um provide validation around what you knew in, intuitively but you'll get the messages and the clarity and the insight provided in a different way and at a more at a greater depth um Absolutely. I know with when we've been having the, the practice sessions within the intensives where people have done that beautiful thing where you validate what someone shared with you and say, well, oh, actually, because of X, Y and Z, that's really ringing true in my body. And the other person could never have intuitively known that unless they were channeling the Akashic records. Absolutely. And it's there. And it is that, isn't it? It's like this. They hold. They hold like the keepers hold this oh god it's like from the day of dawn isn't it this wisdom this ancient mm -hmm. wisdom that's uh, uh, and they do deliver it just so lovingly so gracefully uh, I, I don't think unless you've unless you've worked with it it is so visceral i don't think we could really i, I think trying to describe it does it an injustice really. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> because they are so loving aren't they they yeah. are so loving and I think that and, and again going back to the heart space because it, it, it's again working with the creator in theta it's a different it's a different energy obviously the creator is very loving but it, there's a difference there's a nuance to it there's a difference between creator and the record keepers they just exude this wisdom that is loving and generous mm -hmm. and compassionate all in one breath almost mm -hmm. um it's it's incredible it's incredible and you can feel the difference of of their energies you can yeah for sure yeah, i love it a lot of people say the healing in in the akashic records they've found has been faster from the other healing that they've done the modalities that they've used um which is brilliant i think because they, they work as a great compliment it's not to say that you know this one's now defunct <laughs> you know because <laughs> all I just think all the energy modalities have come from the divine they're all incredible and amazing we all get attracted to different ones don't we yeah. depending on you know where we're at what what resonates the kind of way we like to work and I really feel that the Akashic Records call people in who are ready for that next level and that next depth and they're going to be able to use what they learn within the records as a complement to other modalities because you may have clients that are ready for this modality your theta healing your new one <laughs> <laughs> and then they may choose to step into something where, you know where you're working with the akashic records or you may want to blend them and you have that option to be able to serve people where they're at with the different modalities what's going to resonate for your for your client as well absolutely i think i think i agree with you i think all modalities come from the divine mm. and i think you know if we could try and make an analogy out of this it's almost like driving a car isn't it sometimes we're going to drive the car with uh in bright sunshine so we're going to need the visors down sometimes it's dark so we need our headlights on sometimes there's fog so we need the fog lights up so we're using we're using you know energy but we're using the different things that we need for that journey at that time so there are times where you, you you may pull in the theta or the reiki or 
um, you know, the Akashics, depending on where that client is mm -hmm. and where they are, what they need in their highest at that time. And that, I think that's really key to remember that it's what the client needs, it's not about what, what I want to do. <laughs> it's not about me. Today I'm in the, the client. <laughs> <laughs> Today I declare I want to work with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and right. I think it's it's remembering that because they are all very beautiful, and it's like you say, it's not to say one's better than the other. I'm not here to you know to, to negate any other person's um, modality or anything like that. I think it's important that we have as many that we do, so that we've got eight billion people to touch, Louisa. We're not going to touch it with one modality, are we? We're not mm -hmm. going to touch the whole planet with one modality. So I think that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's like it's I, you know it's like. I don't know. It's like coloured pencils when you when you're making a picture. You you want to use different colours. Love that. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Really yeah. Different. What would you say in terms of the the going through the the program? So the you know level one, level two, and level three. That you know the the value that you got from that. What has been most helpful for you? Is so good. I think I think level one was really good to help me because it doesn't matter if you actually do have a different modality behind you. I think it's important to always learn the foundations. Mm -hmm. And level one really helped me learn the foundations, learn to understand that difference in that frequency between the creator's voice and the keeper's voices. Um, and to work with that, and I became so, I wouldn't say pally, although I do love them. I do, I, I, I have a reverence for them, but I am very, I do have like a bit of a, I have a laugh and a joke with them as well. Yeah. Um, but to understand that that vocab that they have is very different when we have to translate, when we have to translate the energy. Sometimes there's words that are just like, I don't know what to use for that. Um, but it was very important to have to have that as a learning foundation for myself so that I could really understand what it felt like mm -hmm. for me. Once I understood what I was learning from them, I really did want to be able to pass that on to another, to be able to, you know, share that. Because I do think we're here to be, do and have. But I think what's been missing across the planet is that we're here to be, do, have and share. And I think the more that we have, the more we can share. Mm -hmm. And so when I got to understand that with the keepers, I definitely wanted to share that with my clients. And then level two gave us a different depth, didn't it? Level two was working with the clients. Level two was being able to understand what it feels like to, it's very different to reading your own record to reading for somebody else and you know that working with well, you know when I when I was training with you Louise I was like will I be able to do this for my client like I've been able to do it for me because being that clear channel is very important for me so that there is no interference it's a crystal clear message that it aids that client in the best way possible um so I think being able to learn that and understand it was it was very much what I did for myself I was then doing for that client in level two and then level three there were the nuances that we learned to add even more value to the client to be able to you know expand on what we were taught already in level two and be able to give them even more mm -hmm. um and i think that i think that's really important i think that's really important you know because we are here to serve um but to serve with love and generosity i think is important yeah beautiful yeah thank you for I think that's so helpful just hearing your reflections on the journey and the the depth that you can then go into the records with as you learn the different advanced techniques and how they can um support you I'm yeah. so excited for you and what you're thank developing you. out of your relationship with the record keepers and for your business and thank you so much for sharing so openly um, with everybody your experience really really hugely grateful for you and excited that everyone has got to meet you oh thank you so much Louisa thank you thank you for the opportunity to to share <laughs> I really love it oh. <laughs> I, mean, I love working with you you honestly you're just such a wonderful wonderful teacher and you hold space beautifully beautifully
thank oh, you oh thank you so much thank you thank you thank you everybody who has joined us for this as well sending you lots and lots of love <laughs>